a book haul again. I have a pile of books on this table waiting to show you. And um, I'm home for a couple of days. I've been home, today's Tuesday. I've been home since, well, I've been home for a couple of days due to some um, flooding that we had. Fortunately, we haven't suffered uh, too much damage here at all. Unfortunately, I can't say the same, the same for some of my friends and neighbors who have had some damage to their home. So, of course, I'm keeping them in my prayers. But um, I am home and taking advantage. I'm going to be listing. I'm going to be doing some videos. So I hope I haven't taken too long with all of these videos. Please stay tuned for my Q&A finally going up today as well. Right after this one, I'm going to do the Q&A. So let me start before I, um, I get uh, too backtracked. All right, these are some books that I picked up. Different prices, most of them are not over $2. Some of them were as little as 25 cents because some of them are from that new thrift store that I told you I discovered. And they were all, I think they were 25 cents for the paperbacks or the softbacks because now there's a distinction between them and I've been um, discovering that. But you know, with the small novella type paperbacks or just a regular softback book. So most of them were 50 cents or, a, or 25 cents. And like I said, m the most I paid for any one book was $2. So if I get to, forget to tell you, just know that I do not ever pay over $2 for a book. These were actually from that new thrift store and they had a whole section of this philosophy, psychology section. And most of these rung up at a really good price for me. This one is Discover the Power of Meridian Tapping. And this amazing technique could change you and the world. It says here, tapping is a gentle, easy to learn, long lasting, has proven remarkably effective in reducing and eliminating phobias and stress. People love reading about this stuff, guys. So I got that. Then I got the Book of Bread. I always pick up bread making books. They do well. Some of them do really well. And so I don't leave those behind. Here's one that's actually ringing up for over $55. This one is Why Race Matters. And again, this was in the humanities philosophy area. Why Race Matters in South Africa. Sorry, that's the full title. Why Race Matters in South Africa. So brand new book. Rung up at about 10. Che Guevara, a little uh, mini biography here. And then Best Love Poems. Uh, this one has everybody everybody from Elliot to Yeats and just a whole bunch of beautiful poems there. Nice hardcover as well. All right. And then I have Unsettling Settler Societies, Articulations of Gender, Race, Gender, Race, Ethnicity, and Class. Again, these are like, um, they're really like textbooks, companion for the textbooks in, uh, obviously, humanities, some kind of sociology study, anthrop anthropology, or uh, sociology, rather. So these are all ringing up for me over $20. Very, very good prices on some. Like I said, that other one was 50 The connections between language and reading disabilities. Always get these teaching manuals. Teacher resources do really well. I'm probably going to insert a picture of one that I didn't even get to show you because it sold, and it was called The Art and Science of Teaching. Okay, here's another one, Race and Social Analysis. These were all the ones I got for about a quarter. They were a really good deal. Unless they were marked, she was letting me have them for a quarter. And then the hardbacks were uh, 50 cents. Elements of Successful Teaching, General and Special Education Students, IEP Resources. So this is a really, really good resource book and as well. And this is Great Experiments with Light. Here's one that rung up at about $35 or $40. This one is called New Studies in Ethics, and it's a vintage book. I had to just take a picture of it. It doesn't even have an ISBN number or anything, but it did co uh, come up on Amazon. And it is by Warnock, Contemporary Moral Philosophy. These vintage books on philosophy, sociology, psychology, they are, though they their theories may have been proven otherwise, they are really still relevant today, definitely. Here's another teacher resource, teacher edition literature activity book, Don't Forget to Fly, is the name of that one. Got this magazine, The Hobbit. Did I, did, guys, did I ever tell you that I sold the first issue ever of Martha Stewart's Living? I sold it for 65 That was one of my very first non-textbook sales on Amazon. It was, um, yeah, I sold it for $65, and I think they were going as high as $125 at one time, so... Pick up those magazines. They are definitely collectible, especially things like Martha Stewart or what was the other one I sold the other day? Uh, the Mary Inglebright, or I, I think it's Inglebright, and Mary Inglebright are very collectible. Okay, then I got this book, The Macmillan, 
Macmillan Book of Business and Economic Quotations with more than 5,000 quotes from Machiavelli to Drucker organized into 62 categories. 62 categories. And then I got this Winter Horizon book also. Here's a really nice one that I liked. And this one is called Children Like Me, a unique celebration of children around the world. And I just like this to give to, uh, I'm starting to collect books for my grandkids or to have in my classroom, either one. I brought, I'm starting to bring back all my books from school. Oh my gosh, I have filled one whole bookshelf, a tall bookshelf. The Real Mother Goose and uh, Bubba the Cowboy Prince, A Fractured Texas Tale. John Jones. These are in such great condition, guys. They still can bring you $10 easily on Amazon. How Leo learned to be king. <laughs> I was reading that totally wrong. How Leo learned to be king. Look at that pretty illustration. Beautiful book. I really love these vintage type uh, illustrations. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Good night, Gorilla. And I do check these as well. I check their prices because my grandchild is coming from Chicago in May because my eldest daughter is graduating and they're coming to the graduation. And I can't load them down with all these books sometimes as much as I want to. So I'll bring some or when I go and they'll take a few. But, you know, the, those suitcases get kind of heavy. So sometimes I still bring them up on Amazon just to, out of curiosity, see what they're selling for. And they do so well. Uh, most of these kids' books, especially these scholastic books, are things that people know that are super expensive at at the book fairs and things they'll pick them up for you know a good ten dollars or whatever on amazon uh that's what a friend is nice chunky little book there oh here's a beautiful little vintage golden book dr dan love that let's look at the illustrations i t i showed you guys that table i did with old books right i uh i still have it in my piano room i love it but i tore up a bunch of these books and uh, made a really pretty coffee table. If you haven't seen that um, decoupage video, you should check it out. I think it's pretty cool because I just love it. But I got like uh, Puss in Boots and uh, Pinocchio and all of these uh, vintage illustrations and put them on that beautiful little table I made for my youngest daughter when she was, when she was a little tot. All right, then I got this one. This Do Monkeys Tweet? And it is an old library book discard. Love it. Great little book for um, emerging readers. All right. Corduroy's Trick or Treat. I Can Read. Biscuit Takes a Walk. The Ark. And then here's another one that's usually collectible. It's Nintendo, WWF. And I have sold these for as much as $20 on Amazon. So anything with WWF and uh, Nintendo, guys, they're sellers. All right, let's skip around to some adult books before I go back to the kids. Not only for much, but I thought it'd be nice in my if I ever get the position that I want as an English teacher is to just have this in my classroom and maybe give it away to someone who is interested. I love giving away books to students. I don't know how many of you teachers do that, but there is nothing more thrilling to me than for one of my students to ask me if I can give him one of the books. And one of my books and I always say yes I just can't say no to someone who wants it. The Metropolitan Bakery another adult book. I actually am going to take out one of my globes to one of my students who said where did all the globes go when I started moving my things out and I said oh do you, do you like them? He said yes I really like them. I said I'll bring you one for the last day of school. So because I have like I would say 10 globes and I've given some to my daughter already so I had even more and um so I'm thrilled to let him have one of my gloves if he if he likes it. He told me why he liked it. He said he has a lot of relatives in Mexico and South America. And then he likes to uh, look around to see where they live and see how far they travel and things like that. He's a little fifth grader. Love him. All right. To uh, another book is uh, The Other Civil War, American Women in the 19th Century. And this is by an uh, author named Catherine Clinton. Another good ring up on Amazon. Chips. So it's all kinds of historical anecdotes and uh, pictures of uh, famous and not so famous cl clipper ships. Oh, here's a nice one that I think you should see because it's ringing up for $50 on Amazon. And that's probably because this one was $2.99, but it was uh, a little bit less than that because the green tags were half, not half, but 25% off, or is it 30% 30, 30 off at the Goodwill? That's what they do. They do. That's the most we get at our Goodwill, guys, is 30% off and only on non-clothing items. But anyway, I take advantage. And usually their books are pretty cheap, so 
This is actually kind of high because I've been getting their books pretty cheap. But this book is ringing up for $50. It's the Luby's Cookbook. And I believe this is the, this one's called Recipes and Memories. I believe this is the second or third edition because uh, Thrifty Treasures, Tanya over at Thrifty Treasures, told us about a smaller Luby's book that's about this size. And it's red and it's spiral bound. And that one sells for about 80 And I have a copy of that, but I will never let it go. It's got some of my favorite recipes, especially for Thanksgiving. But she was telling me she also had a spare uh, copy. And that every time she sees one, she she picks it up because she can sell them for $80 on Amazon. But that one is 50 And I was really surprised. But it's 50 because it's sealed. The new the newer, the newer new one sells for 50 And I think the used ones are about 20 but I was excited about that. Fisherman's Wharf. And this is a book from the 70s. And I'm not going to sell it. I just love the recipes in there for oysters. There's so many different oyster recipes that I, I want to try. And then here's another one. Eat and Live, The Prophetic Art of Becoming. And this is a religious book. Those do really well as well. So keep an eye out. Stack here, guys, is the one I got in that, in that box for 50 cents each. Yeah, first she had said 25 cents for paperbacks, and that's why I started distinguishing between a paperback and the and the softback because she said, oh, I meant the small paperback. So anyway, she let me have them. They was, those would have been a quarter. So she let me have this, these all for 50 cents each, hardcover or softback, and that was fine. This one is the Grand Homes of the Mid-Atlantic. Really nice coffee table. I, said, I didn't even ring these up because when she said 50 cents for the whole box or for each anything in the box, I just grabbed them. Through Indian Eyes, this is a Reader's Digest book. It's not probably going to ring up for very much. Those Reader's Digest books don't really do that well, but I thought it would be a nice one to have in the classroom. You know, for a good price, Great Maps of the Civil War. Right. Ashley Home Decorating. This is for like 10 bucks, 10 to $15, but I may try selling it on eBay. I think it could get more money on eBay. Here's another one that's ringing up at a good price, The West. Another one. Gardner's Photographic Sketchbook of the Civil War. Very graphic pictures in there that people like to collect Straight history again these were all 50 cents each okay back to the kids books there's some really cute ones this one is one two three washington dc i love the contrast here on the illustrations these are great for little babies because they can really see that high contrast i like this that one is nut or cannot the baby polar bear these were half price guys i got these as low as 60 cents 30 cents on some of these at uh, the thrift store i love this one. oh this is from the garage sale i forgot to show you did i yeah i told you i was going to show you the books that i got at the garage sale in my book house. i got this one at the garage sale for 75 cents love it it's spanish and english counting and it's from the museum uh, a museum in san antonio so it's got the artifacts that you're actually counting in English and Spanish. Love this little book. I'm going to give that to the grandbaby. And then this one, I love this one too. My very own baby book where you can actually put special things and uh, special pictures on the pop-ups. So you're like, here it says, here I am just after I was born. So the kid can actually be doing Isn't that. Isn't that great? I love it. All right, then The Lion King in a golden book. Uh, never leave the Nintendos or the Legos behind. And here's another one. This one is Way of the Ninja. Lego book. One Minute Greek Myths by Sherry Lewis. The Tigger book. Cute. This one was 45 cents. Let me put these back. Hello. Hey, guys. Sorry I had to break away for a minute. That was a FaceTime call that I got from my granddaughter. And I had to take that. I couldn't miss that. So I'm back now to finish up the book haul. All right, another one that I got from the garage sale for 50 cents was this giant size Civil War. Obviously, the guy had a collection. I did have it ring up on Amazon for about $20. And then I got this one. This is Wales. Amazon for me for, I believe, oh, I think it was over $20. It's Arabian Horse World. And then here's another one. This one is Jim Love. From now on, a sculpture. Also a good uh, sell for show you the rest of the kids' books. This is Triceratops for Lunch, Golden Book. And Bob the Dog. All right. So I believe that's it, guys. I really appreciate you coming in for this book haul. Please come back again really soon. I'm going to do the Q&A today as well. So you'll probably see me sitting over there on that side of the sofa. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you dropping in. Bye.